Welcome back to another predictions video. In this one, we are going to be giving you five predictions for today, and there are some value bets in there as well. But I first just wanted to start by taking a look at yesterday's games in the Europa League because there was there were some weird results, weren't there, to be fair? I mean, Liverpool, you expected to, to beat Sparta Praha 6-1. Um, and if we just look at the amount of goals for Liverpool in their European run so far, and you can see the pressure monitor there, pure domination. Um, Sparta Praha did get a goal and there was a few shouts for BTTS in that game. Uh, there was a few shouts, mine included, for uh, by Leverkusen, Quarabag, Quarabag, fair play to them, scoring four goals across two games uh, against Leverkusen. Leverkusen remain unbeaten and they left it very, very late in that one. Yeah, so in terms of the goals, you can see here for Liverpool, just one game uh, didn't finish with three or more goals. And um, we'll take a look at one of the games that I covered on yesterday's video because it was surprising, not just to me. I looked around Twitter and uh, a lot of people could not believe this, but what can we learn from this? I guess psychology. Jeopardy, you know, you never know when a team is done, how they're going to approach a game. Um, Olympiacos, it was 4-1 from the first leg, if you missed it yesterday, and they went there and scored six. I mean, sometimes teams can just find something from somewhere, and this was clearly um, an inspired performance from Olympiacos. What a turnaround. Fair play to them, and um, Tel Aviv will be absolutely kicking themselves. And Fenerbahce failed to score at home for the first time since they played Galatasaray, who were second in the Turkish league at the time. And you can see that it is not often uh, that they fail to score at home. But again, we've got to think about what can we take from this? What can we potentially um, stamp into our brains that we avoid next time? And it is maybe just if a team is 3-0 up, you go for cards. You go for maybe the away team getting that goal. Um, Union did get a goal, but not enough to win the game. And Fenerbahce quite happy it seems to just keep them at arm's length and um, play it safe which is something that uh, Maccabi Tel Aviv didn't do. So that was a quick roundup of yesterday's game so let me know what you thought and uh, as always add your comments to be automatically entered into a draw to win Odd Alerts Pro and I will show you some cool techniques and features that include Odd Alerts Pro at the end of this video but for now let's get on to those games. So the first game for Friday the 15th of March comes from a personal favourite of mine in terms of the uh, the league and it is the Erster Divisi in Holland, the second division and we're just going to take a look at the results here because this is actually a value bet, a uh, slight value for the overs market. You can see that uh, this team comes into this BTTS in the last four games at home. They are doing a bit better and in terms of over 2.5 goals, it is four of the last five games played for Jong. For Cambour, just two games in recent history didn't see three goals being scored. Away from home, a couple in the last spell, as you can see there. So we will take a look at the probability model for this fixture. And we can see we're getting implied odds of 1.5. And the current odds, 1.53, 1.57 is the peak. So for me, um, if you're looking at doubles, this is potentially one that you can play. So for me, what I will be doing is going here, pressing this, setting an alert and saying... Let me know if it hits 1.8, so if there is a slow start to this game, first 10-15 minutes. So we can check the timing data as well, just to see how likely it is that you will get that alert, if it will be triggered. Um, in terms of scoring first half goals, it's uh, 1 on average for the away team and 0.93. Uh, both teams scoring more goals in the second half, but that doesn't mean they don't score in the first half. As you can see, we can scroll down to see the occurrences, which I would always recommend, and we can see that there has been a 0-0 in just 20% of first halves for Jong and it is even less for the away team. And just to check out the goals finally as well, both of these teams averaging two goals per game uh, and we can see there Cambour averaging 4.07 overall on average and that is because they also concede an average of two goals per game. They have scored in 93% of all away games uh, this team which is pretty good going. No nil nils but also no clean sheets uh, which means BTTS has landed in 93% of games. Next up, another value bet here, this time from Wales. And we can see it is second away at fourth. They've won 62% of their away games. So the home team comes into this with one victory uh, since the end of December. A few draws in there. Also just one defeat, it must be said. Now, the away team comes into this on the back of two defeats. And uh, away from home, just one defeat. Now, they've lost those two games to the other two pretty great teams in the league. If we look at the table, we'll see that there is a big gap. I mean, you've got TNS at the top, 
You've got Connors K, who is the away team in this situation. Then you've got Barlar Town. Um, and then you have Cinerophon, Cinnamon. We'll just call them Cinnamon. Cinnamon Town. It's a sweet little place. And it popped up on the value best filter because the probability model is giving it a rating uh, implied odds of 1.47. So we can see they are as high as 1.9, this away team. And um, again, this is a value bet. And uh, the important thing to know about value bet in the long term, you know, this bet might lose. It's very probable that it can lose. Many bets can lose. I always uh, suggest you actually understand probability. Um, you know, there's people in the comments will say, you said this and it didn't happen. That, yeah, that's that's absolutely fine. We're working with improbabilities here. Anyone that says to you they have sure tips or they can, you know, they've got a fixed game or they know exactly what is going to happen in a game, they're absolutely lying to your face. I fundamentally understand that anything can happen in, in a football game, but we have to make the best decision we can based on the data we have. And uh, so far, the probability model at Odd Alerts long term, if you go on the Discord, if you actually just download the data uh, and, and check it out for yourself in Excel or something, um, you will find profitability in no time. Next game then, and from a value bet away win, we are now going to take a look at a home team here because we've got a home team in Austria uh, in the Landesliga, Kalsdorf against Schladming. Uh, and we can see they've won 63% of home games, just eight played, so not the best sample size, not a massive sample size. We can see that home form here, lots of goals as well. Uh, in fact, all but one game have ended with BTTS, so that could be something to look into or just keep in your mind. Schladming, we can take a look at their data and we can see they've won two games, but one of those was in the previous away game. If you look at all of their games, again, BTTS in the last four, but plenty of goals conceded. Now, the probability model is leaning towards a home victory for this one. We can see we get implied odds of 1.43. That equates to just under 70% for the model. That is what it thinks. We can run an AI fixture simulation for this game and we get a 2-0 victory for the home team. And um, in terms of the goals conceded recently for Schladming, then, you know, that that sort of lines up, doesn't it? And uh, just to reiterate their home form, they come into this uh, with two victories in the last two games. They've scored in all but one of their home games this season. And the head-to-head -head has the away team winning the previous game, which is interesting, a 1-0 victory back in August. So for this one, we can take a look at the odds. And uh, if we do a comparison, 1.72 is the best you'll get. Now, it is a value bet. It represents value based on the odd alerts probability model. Um, and we can also check on BTTS. In fact, no, we can't because it's not available. Over 2.5 goals at 1.4. So for me, the home victory does look appetizing here. But what I'm going to do and uh, what you can do as well, if you fancy this, is look at over 2.5 goals and also go down to BTTS here. And actually, I'll set that for 1.6. So uh, 1.4 for over 2.5 goals. I'm going to be alerted if it hits 1.8, which it could do after 12, 15 minutes. Um, and then we'll go into the game, see the, you know, the pressure index and everything. Um, and then BTTS not even available yet because they don't want to offer it. I mean, you saw the results. There's a reason they don't want to offer it. And when that becomes available and it hits 1.6, again, 10 to 12 minutes probably, we will get an alert. Should it be nil-nil? Here is an interesting game as well from Brazil on Friday the 15th of March. Get your comments in. What do you think will happen in all of these games? We can see that this team is unbeaten in four games. They come into this having won the last three games. At home, they have won three out of five. And this away team, fantastic at home, away from home, they've won just once. Now, smaller sample size, of course, given um, the fresh nature of this competition in Brazil. If we look at all competitions, we can get a feel for their form in general. Just one defeat since January. And uh, if we look at this home team, more defeats certainly in that space of time, but they seem to be coming into some form. If we look at the head-to-head -head meetings, 1-1 and 2-1. So this could be a tight game and the odds do reflect that. Evens uh, for both of these teams, above evens for the away team, who from the data you might say are one of the better teams. I like the look of BTTS in this game and 1.91 uh, given the strength of that away team, given the fact that um, it's happened in the last couple of previous meetings. Uh, that one looks really, really good to me. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. 
And now I will show you how I find some of these games. So this is quick filters. We can say, show me teams that have played 10 games or more. And uh, what I was doing for these is leaning on the probability model. So for example, if you want over 1.5 goals, let's say you want to test a system where you're um, setting alerts for over 1.5 goals. Maybe you want to test for a 20% increase or something like that. We can say, okay, show me games that are 75% or more. And let's sort by that. And if you want to just add some quick qualifying rules um, in terms of let's say average goals for both teams is 2.2 or more and then we will hit search and remember all of these games are going to be sorted by the probability model so we've got a game in Mongolia here uh, we've got a game in Wales Belgium uh, what I will do is uh, share this shortlist in the comments so you can check it out but I want to show you as well let's say this championship game in Wales we can just click onto this we go to the odds goals and we can see that over 1.5 not even being offered 1.25 is uh, the peak if you can call it that for over 2.5 goals so what we, what we can do is click on this tell me when it hits 1.4 and you'll be alerted now there is a page called the planner on odd alerts you can get to it by clicking more and what it lets you do is load a filter like this and then set alerts on many many games at once so let's say you are preparing for the weekend you can load up some filters set some alerts in bulk and uh, yeah set them and forget them and then hopefully you know receive them if the game goes as uh, you would want it to so we can see some games here in terms of the stat scrollers we've got btts 100 percent so we've got over 1.5 goals 100 percent records there is going to be goals in these games, you feel, and the probability model is how we are defining that, 75% or more for over 1.5 goals. And um, as I say a lot, you know, it's up to you how you build these filters. There are so many, many rules um, that you can combine and mix together. You've got corner percentages, card percentages, fouls, XGs in here for the, for the major leagues that support it. Uh, more of those coming soon, by the way. Uh, if you're in the Discord, you'll be able to um, see some of that being tested at the moment, uh, some of the new XG data. And it is live as well, by the way. I will just show you that now for a previous game. So we'll take a look at the Liverpool game again, and uh, we can see the XG here. Live XG and live XG from shots on target. So they are two new, brand new, in development, beta slash beta testing, whatever you want to call it. Um, options on the live stats section for odd alerts. Um, delighted to, to have them there. They update live during the games, which is going to be fantastic. Uh, and soon you will be able to add them to your filters as well. Uh, imagine that live filtering XG over one and goals in the game zero and shots over X and pressure over Y. It can all be combined to create some pretty sweet filters. Um, let me know what you thought about all these games, yesterday's games. If you've got any features uh, that you wanna see or requests or data, let me know in the comments and I will get it done as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you maybe tomorrow.